Google Ads is a powerful advertising platform that allows anyone to set up and run different types of ad campaigns to drive business growth. However, if you do not have conversion tracking set up on your website, it's impossible to identify and measure if your Google Ads are actually generating conversions on your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now today I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking on your Wix website in 2022. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and set up Google Ads conversion tracking on your Wix website. Okay, so in order for us to create and set up Google Ads conversion tracking on our Wix website, we first need to head over to Google Ads. To do this, simply head over to your browser and type in ads.google.com and that's going to take you to your ads account. Now, if you're completely new to Google Ads, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of setting up your Google Ads account and launching your first campaign. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you like. Now, once you've arrived inside your Google Ads account, simply navigate up to Tools and Settings, then navigate down to Conversions under Measurement. Then simply navigate over to New Conversion Action. And this is where we need to select the type of conversion that we want to track. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and select Website Conversions. Go ahead and enter your website's domain name. So this is our Wix website's domain name. Then go ahead and click scan and then navigate down the page and click on add conversion action manually. Then navigate up to goal and action optimization, click here. Then navigate down and select a goal category that you want to record. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we want to record a submit lead form. This is the conversion that we want to measure on our Wix website. So basically when someone submits a form, they'll be taken to our thank you page and we want to track this as a conversion. Then once you've added your goal conversion, simply navigate down to conversion name and add your conversion name. Then navigate down to value over here. We have the option to select use the same value for each conversion. This is where you can enter the average value of each lead. Or if you sell one type of product, for example $20, then you can go ahead and add $20 in here. And Google Ads will record a value of $20 for each conversion. We can also come down and select use different values for each conversion. And this is if you run an e-commerce website. So maybe you sell multiple products on your Wix website and you want to record each conversion with its own unique value. So what I'm going to do is navigate up to use the same value for each conversion. However, for example, if the value of each of your leads were, let's say $10, then you could add $10 in here. We're just going to leave one for now. Then navigate down the page to count. We're going to navigate down and click one. And that's because we want to generate leads. And if we navigate over here, you can see that someone clicks on your ad and enters their information twice on your website. Only one conversion is reported per click. Now, if you were running an e-commerce website and you were selling products, then you would want to measure every purchase because every purchase is valuable. Then we can navigate down here and we have the option to change these details. So for example, if a visitor interacted with our ad, and they converted within 30 days, then that would be counted as a Google Ads conversion. Then this is for video engagement, we're not gonna talk about that, and then we also have view through conversion window. And this is similar to click through conversion window, however, this is just when a visitor views your ad. And then we have attribution model, we're gonna keep data driven selected, then navigate down and click done. And then click save and continue. And under edit your website code, this is where we want to take the global site tag as well as the event tag 
and embed this on our Wix website to record that specific conversion. Now for us, what we want to do is add both these codes to our thank you page because when a visitor submits their information, they convert and become a lead and arrive on the thank you page. So when the thank you page triggers, after the form has been completed, this is considered a conversion. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and copy the global site tag. To do that, come down and click copy, and that's going to copy this entire global site tag snippet. Then what we want to do is head over to the back end of our Wix website. Then within your Wix website back end, simply navigate down to settings over on the left hand side, click here, and then navigate down the page and locate custom code next to advanced. And here under custom code, you'll see head, body start, and body end. What we want to do is come down and click add code under body end. Then simply navigate up to paste the code snippet here and paste in your global site tag. Now what we're going to do is navigate up to the top of this tag and copy this part. And this is the part that we want to remove in order for our conversion tracking to function properly. So go ahead and remove the top section of your global site tag. Okay, so now that we remove the top section and we've added our global site tag, what we want to do is head back to Google Ads and copy the event tag. So head back to Google Ads, then navigate down the page and click see event tag. And what we want to do is make sure that page load is selected, add a snippet to the page a customer reaches after completing a conversion. So for us, when a visitor submits their information on our booking form, our lead generation form, they'll be taken to the thank you page. And this is the code that we want to add to our thank you page. So to do that, come down and click copy. And as you can see, snippet copied, then navigate back to your Wix website. Then on this code here, remember we added the global site snippet. What we want to do is navigate all the way down to the bottom, click enter and then paste in your code below the global site snippet. Then again, like we did with the global site snippet, we want to remove this top section. So this top snippet here just above script. So go ahead and delete this. And now we have our global site tag in here and then below this global site tag, down here you can see we have the event tag. Then come down and name your conversion. We're gonna call this lead form conversion. And then navigate down to choose specific pages. And here we want to select our thank you page. So this is the thank you page that our successful leads will be redirected to. So if I exit out of this, I'm happy with all that. Then come down and click apply. And as you can see, we've added this Google Ads conversion tracking event to our Wix website so that we can identify if our Google Ad campaigns are generating conversions. So now what we need to do is check that everything is working. To do that, head over to your website. And as you can see, I'm on my thank you page. Now to check that everything's working properly, what we're gonna do is navigate up to Google Tag Assistant Legacy which is a browser extension that you can add onto your Chrome browser. Now, if we come down here, you can see that we have the global site tag and the Google Ads conversion tracking successfully added. You can see this little green smiley face next to these two tags. Now, you can also set this up with Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. There's a few different ways that you can set up and track conversions. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is head back to Google Ads and then come down and click close, and then simply come down and click done. And as you can see, we have our conversion action set up here. Now, if we navigate across, you can see under status that we're currently unverified. This can take up to three hours after someone visits your page containing the tag. What you can also do is head over to that tag to fire and trigger that tag in order to speed up this process. However, congratulations, just like that, you've enabled Google Ads conversion tracking on your Wix website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial for Wix. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. 
And that way, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.